Snagit is screen capture technology the way it should be. Often on my website, it's voted the number one technology and I have over 77,000 subscribers to YouTube and 12,000 people signed up to my newsletter. The reason teachers like it so much is it's just so versatile, so easy to use and it makes screen capture videos literally in the click of a button. You can literally mark out a screen, click on the button and record yourself talking over a PowerPoint, an infographic, an image, a graph, etc. And then save the video or share it up online. But you can do a lot more, particularly now with the latest version of Snagit 2024. We have, for example, the option now of bringing multiple videos together. In this quick training video, I'm gonna take you through all of the features in Snagit 2024 screen capture, and you'll see why it is perhaps one of the easiest, quickest, and most effective screen capture technologies that you can use. This is a pretty comprehensive video. We're gonna look at things like how to record a very quick video, how to make a video and share it with students and even get them to interact with the video. We'll look at all the key settings. There's some great ones, the ability to draw on the screen, to have your webcam as a circle or different shapes. We'll also look at the new features like combining multiple videos together to create one video, as well as looking at things like screen size and how to edit your videos make use of the menu system if you want to jump to a particular part of the video so here we are on Snagit 2024 and the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is just how easy it is to record a video just to make a quick point if you do want to download and test Snagit I've left a link below in the description you can click and download it and test it out for free and also there are offers to get discounts on the educational version there's actually a great discount provided and there's also the commercial version if you want to buy that right let's start then with the very first thing which is we're going to make a recording and just show you how simple it is to use Snagit so watch this all I literally need to do is click on the capture button choose video capture click on capture here you've got a number of settings that I will talk through in a minute but let's just do an example first click on capture and I'm going to just record myself talking over this one PowerPoint slide I'm going to click full screen so just click here at the top and I'm ready it's that simple I'm going to click now on the button and start recording So just to quickly explain, why do I like working with platforms and using them when I'm supporting my language learning? Well, first of all, the content on the platforms is connected to the things that we teach in class. And secondly, it means that we can offer more variety when we're doing our homework, blah, 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 blah. I won't do any more. And I'm gonna just press on pause. Now I press on stop and the video is ready. That is it, I've made a video, let's play it. So just to quickly explain why do Absolutely brilliant, no problem at all. Now, if I wanted to save that video onto my computer, I would literally click Save As, and it's already an MP4 file. I could save it onto my desktop or wherever and then send it to my students, blah, blah, blah. So that's one thing that I could do, but the other thing that I can do very quickly is just click on this button here, and it will upload the video onto a repository. Now you get a free, you get free space of up to 25 videos. So I can literally click here, share link, and it's gonna upload that video, okay? So I click on share, and it's gonna upload that video onto a repository, and it's gonna provide me with a link that I can then instantly share with students. Now look at that, it's even actually said, here's the link. I'll, I actually wanna view this, so I'm gonna click here, and the link has already been copied to my clipboard automatically. Okay, I have to accept all the cookies. And there is the video on a repository. And I can play that video instantly. So just to quickly explain, students can come on and obviously comment on the video so they can watch it and then leave comments here. So you can collect your comments together, which I really love. Now, actually, when you upload the video, automatically it's saved on your clipboard. So in fact, I could now just open up an email and send it to my students or put it into Moodle or put it into a platform or however I wanna share the link. 
Okay, I don't even need to copy that link. Obviously, I could just click up here and copy it. It's actually automatically copied when you load the video. Really couldn't make your life any easier. So just to demonstrate that it has actually done that, I'm just gonna click on a new tab. I'm gonna right click and click in paste. And there is the link, see? And if I clicked on enter, so you imagine the student would come straight into the video. It's that simple to use. I really love the way that you can make a video and share it with your students so quickly. And I love the fact that you can, it can be dialogic because the students can watch the video and then comment on it on the right hand side. Now let's go back and look at screen capture in a little bit more detail, look at some of the settings because there are many more things that we can do. So let's do another screen capture and this time we start to look at some of the options. So what we're going to do is click on the capture button here. It's going to open up the capture window again. So if we click here, it opens up this window here. I'm just going to minimize this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record myself talking over my website. Now, a couple of things. First of all, we can capture the cursor, really useful. We can record from the microphone, obviously really useful. We can record systems audio. That is, if the thing that you're recording, be it a video, be it a website, be it something where there's audio on that particular thing, on the website, maybe there's some sounds playing or some music, then it will record the systems audio as well. So it will record both your voice and the systems audio. Very useful. You can also include your webcam. So if I clicked on this button here, it would then allow the webcam to be recording along with the video. And if we actually click here, I think I'm right in saying, you've even got a few options regarding where that is gonna be on the screen. So we're gonna have a rounded rectangle. Notice we've got various options. Let's try a circle. And we're gonna do bottom right. And we've even got a screen drawer. Now I don't, use the screen drawer that often but i'll show you it now i like to kind of add my i mean yes it's it, it's definitely got its uses let me highlight it so if i click on that and i turn that on as well and if i now click on screen capture and uh what we can do if we just click on that now is click here to go full screen again and we're going to click and i'm going to just show you some wonderful things that you can do this is really going to surprise you watch this So first of all, you can see me on the screen, so there I'm gonna be. Now what I wanna to mention to you first of all is that you've got the menu system here that you can look at. Secondly, I wanna to mention to you, number two, that you've also got some here, some of the courses that I can do. And number three, I wanna remind you that you can sign up to my newsletter and that there's a free 14 part video course if you do that. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Did you see that, how fantastic that was? All of that's gonna be in the recording. Now, I only paused, so I could continue, and I'm just gonna show you a couple more things. So if I was to continue recording, by clicking on that button there, okay, and now we're continuing to record. Obviously, I've got a fourth thing here, sign up to YouTube. And if I wanted to, I could click on here and now just point out where YouTube is. And all of that's gonna come out in the video, etc. Now let's stop. Let's stop that and let's just have a look at what we've created. So if we were to play that video back now, you'll see that everything that I was doing on the screen will come out in the video. So all I'm gonna do is click on save and then I'll just click here on save because I wanna save this and I'll save it onto my desktop. And we'll just give it a quick name. We'll call it TTV, Teacher Training Videos. We'll call that Save. Now, if I was to jump over to my desktop, I can see the videos here. Let's actually have a look at it. So we'll click on it. Oh, you can see me on the screen. So there I'm going to be. Now, and that is exactly how the video is going to look. Look at the quality of that video, okay? Um, very high quality, got the audio, we've got me on the webcam. Uh, I probably could have positioned myself a little bit better on the webcam, but that's my fault, nothing to do with Snagit. And of course, the video, what I want to mention to you first of all, is that you've got the menu system here that you can look at. And if we scroll further up, you'll see even that example of where we were drawing onto the screen. Now, I think as screen capture technologies go, and I've actually 
been involved in the development of screen capture technologies in the past, this is really, really impressive. Easy, simple, and it does many of the things that we really want to do with screen capture technology. However, there's more, and now we're going to look at some of the new features in the 2024 edition. Just a super quick break from the video to say, if you like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's a whole menu system here at the top of the screen, but also you can scroll down on the opening page and see lots of videos. If you wanna follow my work, then at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there's a free 14 part video course in using technology in teaching and learning. And there are no tricks, it's completely free. And of course the newsletter, I write that every Every week and I share normally one new idea one new technology and update you on my blogs on my webinars and on my courses many of the webinars that we organize are free right let's get back to the video now what you can do now with snag is combine various videos together multiple videos together so for example we've got this recording here but what we could do now is click on add video and what it's going to do it's going to kind of open up the repository and show you all the other videos that you've recorded and it's going to say well do you want to add any of these and i'm going to say yeah i want that to be number two and i want that one to be number three and then i can click on combine videos and now what it's going to do is combine video one and video two and video three together to create a much bigger and longer video now you couldn't do this before working with Snagit, and now you can. Now, don't think that the only place that you can save your videos is here on this kind of share link idea. If you was to click on share here, you'll see that actually you can save your video into all sorts of places. And in fact, I normally save my videos onto YouTube. And to do that, all I need to do is put in my Gmail account plus my password, and then my videos go straight up onto YouTube. So that would be an option. Um, occasionally I save my videos onto my Google Drive, but of course you've got any of these options in terms of places where you can save your videos. Now, a few more things to look at. You can, for example, cut parts of your video out. Let's say that if we notice that the first part of the video, oh, you can see me on the screen. So there, I'm. Is, we're not happy with that. We, you know, we wanted to cut this part. We can actually just mark out the area that we want to cut. Then we click out, cut out, and it will just cut that part of the video. So we could be in the middle here. And again, there could be a little bit of the video that we're not happy with, and we can cut that part of the video out. Okay, so it's quite easy to actually edit the video if you want to do that as well. And then obviously, if we play that back now, you'll see that it won't. Oh, you can see me on the screen. So there, I'm. You also got. Okay, it's going to play. You know, without those parts being available. So that's another really useful useful feature and it is you know possible to not just cut parts out at the beginning at the end but also to cut parts out in the middle of the video as well I'll just point out one more feature to you we'll do a screen capture again so let's make sure we're on video click on capture notice that I don't have to go full screen. If I want to draw around a particular area or something that I want to just mark as the area that I want to record, I can do that. I can even kind of, you know, get it just exactly the way I want it and say, right, yeah, I'm going to screen capture this. Okay, so you're not limited to only recording full screen. You can, you know, mark out an infographic or a graph or a map or a section of a map and then record over that. You can really see how versatile screen capture is now you have to remember the screen capture feature in Snagit is only half of the story because as well as screen capture technology Snagit also provides you with a really really powerful image capture technology as well as some other features okay i really hope you liked that video and if you did please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's loads more free videos. There's a menu system here at the top, but also if you scroll down, you'll see lots of free content on the opening page. You can also find out about my courses and you can also sign up to the newsletter. If you sign up to the newsletter, there is a free 14 part course in how to use technology in teaching and learning. 
There are no tricks. I share with you one video every four to five days looking at different topics. And those videos are normally about 10 to 15 minutes long. And you'll also get the weekly updates of any new videos that I produce, as well as any free webinars that we're running, any new courses we're running, etc. Finally, if you do want to contact me about doing some training with you as an individual or an organization, then please, you can contact me from the website. I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now of some interesting topics that I think you might find worth watching.